Today we're unboxing our newest edition from Kickstarter, Sleeping Gods. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. Vincent, get back here this instant! Oh. <laughs> Thank you! All right, now this one is right on the heels of my uh, Bloodborne unboxing because they actually arrived on the same day. Very exciting day, very exciting day. Um, so let's see, but you know, two very different experiences because here we got like this story-driven adventure. I think you're on a boat and then you build a crew and you go from place to place and, and things happen and it's all adventure-y. And uh, I'm actually really looking forward to this, although I won't be playing this quite yet. There's quite a, quite a few things in front of it, but I hope to get to it soon. All right, let's look inside the box. What do you got? I like this bubble wrap. Okay. Ooh, we got player mats. Oh, the, got some oh, battle mats, whatever they're called. Look at, look at those, we got a pretty little book. Now this game, this game is very pretty. It's a very pretty looking game. Look right here. This is Tides of Ruin. Did I open this box upside down? I feel like, no, nope, that's facing the right way. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. Oh, it's such a pretty box. This is such a pretty looking game. I love the artwork in it. And then we got, what's this? Oh, look. The metal ship. It says right on there, metal ship. That is a good naming convention. That's exactly what it is. Oh, we got more stuff. I got some like, looks like steaks and wheat. We got some metal coins. This is heavy. What else we got? In? Oh, and oh, the best for last. Quartermaster Logistics. All right. Okay, so that is it. Let's get rid of this. Let's open some stuff. All right, now being that this is a story adventure game, um, I don't want to do too many spoilers. I know I've done spoilers in the past, uh, and my motto is, if you don't want to be spoiled, just don't read the card. But to also speed up the unboxing because it seems that people have been enjoying just the like hey just give us a hint just give us a hint of what the cards are sure, take time on the minis and any pretty art that might come up but uh other than that just move on and talk less so here i go okay let's see what we got here first let's start with the main one this this thing now just so you know this this is freaking heavy this is dense that means there's a lot of cardboard goodness and adventure in here. I am so pumped. Oh, looking at the back of this. Mm, I can't wait for a, I love a great adventure game. Do you love great adventure games? I love great adventure games. All right, let's look at this. This is gonna make a big slam. Doji. Now, let's crack this open. And right away, first thing that stands out to me uh, is this gold embossed, let's get the plastic off. This gold embossed title that says Sleeping Gods with Ryan Lockett, the man himself. Actually, I haven't played a lot of Ryan Lockett games, but I've heard a lot of great things. I know, I know. There's a lot of games of his I should be playing, but I, I just haven't. I will, I will. I'm one of those cult of the new. I appreciate the old, I just haven't got a chance to it. Actually, not that most of his, he's got a lot of games that aren't that old and can't fall into cult of the new, but you know, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. Okay. Now, two things are very exciting. First, I'm recording this during the day, so I've got more energy than usual. <laughs> okay, so this gold embossed, love it. This it, Actually, the ship's embossed, this monster's embossed, which I'm assuming was a sleeping god, maybe a godzilla, but he's no longer sleeping. All right, all right, Red Raven, what do you got? And the whole artwork has got this, like, concept-y storybook look to it. I dig it. It's, Oh, this is going to be a good one. Whoa, whoa, what am I doing? I wasn't ready. Let's do this. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. That unlitting was just as beautiful. That experience was just as beautiful as the art in this game. Let's check it inside. 
You know, you do that, it's not leather, this is just paper, but you do that like leather texturing thing right away, I instantly feel like I'm on an adventure. Okay, so they've got this whole like atlas situation, although I'm not sure they're allowed to call it an atlas. I can call it whatever I want, I'm not, I'm not being paid for this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't work for a Red Raven, so uh, because I think that was I thought that was a plaid hat only thing like only they could call it pla like it's like a trademark title the Atlas concept of like levels that you open up like this and you play on them um, But I don't know if that's true or not But so I'm gonna call it an Atlas for now. This looks like the bottom portion like the smaller portion of an Atlas So no rule book right away. You usually see the rule book on top, but no not this time So I'm just gonna flip through this quickly because I don't want to ruin your adventure and I like this whole you play uh, the atlas setup is great i i love the fact that i can just go to another level and just go like bam i'm playing another level mm. okay we're good there oh we got a little player logs they're selling this whole like i feel like i'm on a journey like i need to get a pencil and not just use a sharpener but like whittle it like a yellow pencil and just kind of whittle it in maybe not a yellow pencil whatever they use maybe a piece of uh charcoal um but yeah this seems cool so these are just your player aid sheets oh look at that on the back of them there's like references to the island i guess this is what the map looks like cool as a whole and you adventure and that's where you go oh that's nice that's nice again it's just a cardboard or thick paper stock but it's made to look like embossed leather Fairly thick. So I'm just gonna flip through the first few pages here. So what are we getting? So this is our story. So we're not gonna look through all this, but so this is all the story content you're getting. Look how much there is so much content in this. This is why this box weighs a ton. This is a big piece of story. This is going to be awesome. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Brittany's gonna love this. She's gonna love this. I can see this being on our next top five board games for couples, because it's... Sorry, I'm just getting emotional. Okay, um... We have the rule book. This is a... This is a it feels like a hefty rule book. What's, uh, how many, what's the page count? 40?! It's the sporty on the back. 40 pages? Okay, there's a lot there. There's a lot of stuff. It's gonna be quite the read. Maybe there's just a lot of reference material in here. Cause that's okay. All right. Okay. All right. It's gonna be. It's gonna be some a little bit of work. And we got this thing. Oh, you can mark off achievements, and there's only one of these. So I guess whatever achievements you get are permanent. Yeah, this thing. What is this? I was set up a new campaign event. A little reference sheet. A little quick reference sheet. Not bad. That's what it looks like from the top, if uh, that helps. And a quick start guide. All right. Okay. Okay. I find that uh, quick start guides, I like quick start guides. You know, I, I dig them, but I still have to read the entire rule book. I'm never satisfied with the answer quick starter guide gives me. All right. Okay. More so, more rules in a smaller set. And then baggies. Always loved them baggies. And we got, why is this stuff in a bag? This stuff's in a bag. Uh, I'm, uh, I don't know why, but I'm gonna take that out of there. I'm gonna take that out of there in just a second. We got a little player standy tokeny thing. And these, I don't think I'm supposed to open. So how does this open? Hold on. This is cool. It's like a really thick cardboard thing that's textured like a like a chest. What's in here? It doesn't say do not open. Uh, oh, look at that. I'm just gonna look at one of these. But I don't wanna ruin anything. So I'm not gonna open all this stuff. But that's what's in here. Okay, let me, I'll just look at, I'll show you the back of the, the back of those. So, uh, yeah, let's just look at the back of these. I'm gonna keep them in there. Cause this looks like we might be entering spoiler territory. Usually when there's things in boxes, that's a like a no open. So I'm not gonna open these. I'm just gonna look at the art on the back of them. Okay, so we got quests. All right, so 
That's uh, there's a few of those. They're all the same art. And we got this. Those are different. And we got this thing. Cool. So dead. Don't look at these if you don't wanna. But yeah. So there's. Okay. Well, I don't wanna. I don't wanna open those. So we're just gonna put those back in that cool little crate. That's awesome. I love this little crate. Everything. They did such a great job in the presentation of this. I feel like I'm out on a little adventure. Except for the phone. You know. Oh. Used quests. That's just an empty box. It says used quests. Check it out. That's all. That's all it is. It's got the wood grain to make it look, you know, wood. There's what else is in here? Oh, this is not empty. This is not as thick a box as the, uh, the this original treasure chest. Everything else seems like a thinner cardboard, but it's all got the textured wood on it. What's in here? All right, more sealed stuff. Okay, I'm afraid to, I'm not gonna open any of these because I don't know what I should be opening or shouldn't. Because this game's all about the story. This might be a really, really short unboxing. Well, it's, it is, and that's an empty box. So there's nothing in here. And then we got, ooh, this is heavy. What's in here? What is in here? Oh, it's a bunch of like tokens and, and stuff and supplies. This we can look at. Okay, we got some more baggies. And then we got this. All right, I like, how, I like when they take the effort to paint the inside of the box. All right, so we have some tiles here. I'm guessing these are like player boards. Oh, that's your ship. Yeah. So these must be individual player boards. Or I don't know if there's individual player boards. I think there's only one ship. So that's the one ship player board is shared by whoever plays. And then you have your, your crew that you can get. And they have like, you know, it's carrots, wheat, something. What is that? Like a relic, an artifact of some sort. And then there's steak and pieces of wood. I think there's a little, yeah, here's the, what I'm guessing is a currency. And that's what um, the upgraded bits are. Yeah, it's got a very kids storybook adventure art aesthetic to it, which I'm digging. Okay, so there you go. You can read there. Uh, you can pause and read that. I hope you can read it. Again, this 4K, but we're not super close. If you want to read it, here, I'll go in there for you. And show you what the tiles look like up close. There you go. And there's the characters. Yeah. So we'll, we'll yeah we'll show you these up close. Yes, yeah, the slides on the pop up character. So there's some characters here. Yeah, like a Captain Highliner type of thing going on there. And we've seen things like that before. On the back of their stories, it's them. So at this view, you should be able to pause and read that if you wish. You know, I thought when I knew this had like, um, I knew this game had characters that you could recruit for your ship. But I honestly thought there'd be more of them. But I also thought that they'd be a lot smaller, like it'd be a deck of cards. I didn't realize there were these big, chunky boards. Which I'm assuming means that these characters have more substance than a game that would have like just hundreds of smaller cards. Okay, so can you get close up on those? I think those are similar to the ones you've seen on the other card. Some more tokens. What's that card? Port. And there's some character tokens. All right. I think that's the same on both sides, isn't there? Might, maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Um, 
at a glance. All right, and we got this. Now these are separated in a little baggie. I don't know why, but I'm opening them. Hmm. So this is, this is glossy. Unlike everything else, and it's thin. It's thin, glossy cardboard. So I don't know what the deal with these are. As you can see, they're picking up the studio lights. So I'm not sure what the deal with these are. Dungeon Storybook. Oh, there's more, more story. I wonder how this comes into play. I don't know. And then we got more token stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna put that back in the box. I wonder if that's an extra thing of some sort, because it's got more of these in there separated from the rest. So, just put this back in here so I know that came from there. Yeah. So. All right, I, uh, I think that was it. Okay, that was it for that box. Well, we're gonna get getting close to this. You know, let's do that before we check out everything else. Okay, lower the studio lights a little more to reduce reflection. Still getting some because the cardboard is fairly shiny. Let's open this up. All right. All kinds of stuff in there. All right, first, oh, there's another ship in here. There was another ship over there. Did I get this stuff twice? Hmm. Oh no, this is a plastic ship. Painted. It's a painted mini of a plastic ship. So there it is. I'm getting closer. So there you go. It's tiny, but a fair amount of detail on a little tiny mini. Cool. So that's a plastic version of it. And we also got these, and these are heavy. There's a few of them, all oh, different sizes. Well, let me show you. Okay, so these are nice. I like these. These are metal. They're metal and they they actually, they get pinched on the edge. So it's like the, it's raised, they don't leave flat. It's like they're raised. I don't know how to describe it. And then they get pinched on the ends. They look very nice. So there's a bunch of those. Are they all different? They're all the same. They're all the same. Okay. And then there's small versions of that. are quite a bit smaller and a little darker in color. Alright, so that's those. Let me this side. Oh look how I mixed them all. That's gonna be fun to sit ready again later for no reason. Um, as in there was no reason for me to mix them. Oh, and we got wooden bits. Ah I think this is what we've upgraded in the other kit. So I think we're going to replace these with a lot of those. We'll open those right after this. Oh no, I ripped the bag. Oh, these are going to look great on a red table. All right. So these are, I'm assuming, damage? Because they look like blood drops. There's a bunch of those. All right. And then here we got... That thing I threw away. I'm assuming that's the first player token. They have these in so many games now. Very popular. All right, so we got here a person. Why is there only one person? Hmm? Oh, there's a person meeple. Fairly large person meeple. He stands. And we got some blocks. And that's it, they're just wood blocks. There's nothing else to them. And we got these things. 
other than being a pretty good color. Right there. I don't know what they're for. I'm sure they're tr they track something. Maybe they're blue, maybe they track some sort of water or flooding. Oh, or they track whatever that is. Or that's a currency cost, I don't know. Well, that's, I like the blood right on those. Those are smaller than the gray ones. Squares, cubes. And then, you know what? I'm gonna open this to look at some of these because I don't think there's spoilers in here. This just looks like equipment, which might mean spoilers, but I'm just gonna look at a few of them. Oh. oh, you know what? I'll draw through all, I'll go through all these. They're pretty light. Like they, they've got unique artwork on them. That's the back of them. Go through these quick 4k and stop on them. Ooh, I want to use the uh, the blow darts. Ooh, I can go, that looks pretty good. I can go for the scenario. Right now. I hate radishes. Ooh, what is that? Cinnabon? What is it? Are they Cinnabons? No, Gabby. It's got to be some sort of like meat and uh, pastry type of deal. You know what? The name's probably on it. I don't know why I'm talking about it. It's biscuits and gravy, not Cinnabons. It's Eye of Wisdom. Else? I like that little pack. Hey, cool. I hope there was no spoilers in there, but if there were. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I won't open these because um, these. Well, uh, I just want to see what like one of them is. I want to see if they all look like this. So I'm not. We're not. We're definitely not going to look through all these. I'm just curious. Okay. So no, they got some pictures on them. They do some stuff. And then they got some that are just plain like that. All right. So we're not, we won't look through all these. I'm so tempted, but again, I don't want to spoil anything, so I won't. And then we got this. Once again, if you guys are watching this and you. Want me to go back to showing absolutely everything? Just let me know in the comments. If you're happy with the way things are going, just let me know in the comments. But uh, the artwork carries on through all the cards. So there you go. Some stuff that happens here. Abilities. I don't know. There you go. Cool. So that's, that's that. That was everything that was in that box. And now, because I think it ties in nicely, check out what were in these upgrade kits. Um, now, I don't see how the coins are an upgrade to the coins because they, they both seem like metal. They look metal coins. So these and these are like the exact same. So I, maybe I bought it by accident, or I'm not sure how that happened. So we've seen these before too. They're also the exact same as ones. So I have extra. I don't know why, that's something I did. Okay, and then we got, what are these? Oh, those are those things that I didn't know what they were. They look like artifacts or something. Are they metal? Oh, they are metal. Are all these pieces metal? It looks like a, yeah, it looks like an artifact of some sort. Or a, Bell? I don't know. No, I'm going with some sort of artifact or a relic. They're, kind of, they're tiny, so let me zoom in a bit. Nice. Okay. All right, what else we got here? We got some carrots. Are these metal carrots? Are they metal carrots? That'd be crazy. Painted carrots. They're not metal. Don't know what they're made out of. But they're sturdy. It's five of them. 
I guess you don't eat many carrots in this game. Five is enough. And then we got, I'm guessing these are the planks of wood. Be silly if these were made out of metal. They're actually made of wood. If that makes sense, they're just wooden blocks. Very uh, Concordia-esque. And then we got these. Oh, we got some hay bales. Oh, these are metal. Are they? I think they are. They're heavy, whatever they are. Not like the heaviest thing I've ever picked up, but they're heavy. Oh, that nice little detail on these, actually. Cool. Like little bushels of uh, wheat, grain, hay, not hay. Grain of some sort. Okay, and we got steaks. Which reminds me, I gotta come up with a plan for dinner. Or lunch. It's early in the day still. Okay, so the steaks. Well, they definitely look like steaks. They're not the most impressive pieces I've ever seen, but I like them. I like them. I'll take it. I'll take it. Put that over here. I did not put these away properly, so I'm going to try to just segregate things. To, oh, there was one more carrot. I almost lost that there's six carrots. I almost got the run away. And if I remember correctly, ah, there it is. There's a metal boat. Now, the plastic boat seemed fine, so the metal boat seems a little unnecessary. It's nice though, but it looks just like, unless you're handling it in your hand, you probably won't notice much of a difference from the plastic one, because it is definitely heavier. Looks cool, but so does the plastic one. So if you didn't upgrade, I don't think you're missing much. It's got a nice weight to it though. Any other little bits? No. So, you know, let's look at, let's look at these mats, then we're going to open up that other box, and then we're done. Let's do it. Okay, we got things out of the way. Let's, look at the, ooh, double side. Check these out. Okay. Very pretty. Tiny, yet pretty. And aside, it looks like a, it's like a little cave. That's very pretty too. The other one, the other one is the exact same. Okay, so we got two of those. Is this a two-player game? Why is there only two of them? Is this only two-player? I need to know. I need to know. No, it's two to four-player. So why there's only two of these? I don't know, because I don't know the game plays. Other than the theme of you know, there's adventurers, and you go on adventures, and you read story, and you customize your crew. I know that. I don't know how any of it happens, but that's what I know. All right, let's check out what this book is. A cute little book. Oh, it's a cute little book. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, nothing. Ah, something. Oh, it's a little story. It's like a little journal. Very like Darwin-esque, where he traveled and he just drew illustrations of everything he saw. It's cool. I like that idea of like travel and I draw photos of what I see. It's quite a bit of content in there. Nice. It's a nice little book. It's hardcover. I like it. All right, now, last thing to do is open this, which I assume is some sort of expansion of some sort. Oh, it's an expansion. It says it right there. Does it say it on the front? No, it does say it on the back. <laughs> Let's take a look. Bam, there it is. Uh, or would it be Woomp? There it is. Woomp? Correct me in the comments. It's Woomp. Okay, so let's check out what is in Sleeping God's Tides of Ruin. Doesn't sound like a vacation spot.
Oh, we got some more of that pretty storybook art, and there's our little ship. Okay, let's open her up. Actually, I think you can open this up in the regular way. It's a pretty flat box. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. You know, I'm gonna give that for how shallow that is. I'm gonna give it a four. Why not a five? Because it did get caught on the corner. Which uh, might be my fault, but you know what? It did jank up the experience. I like the painted insides. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Just throw art everywhere. Love it. Okay. What's this? Oh, we got another little atlas. So this looks like some expanded territories we're going into. We got some more cards we're not going to open. So there's those quest backs that you're familiar with. Oh, this is new. So that's the kind of stuff. Fishing pole. Like I'll let you like discover those on your own. I don't want to ruin those. Arcade mode. Interesting. So we got those in there. And we are going to look through all of these. Because these look interesting. Hmm. So the back of them, so the back of them have a number and a painting. Zombie scavengers. So I'm guessing we're going to find zombies in this story. So let's go through these quick. Oh yeah, they're different. They have different stats. I'm gonna go through these. Just because there's big, there's not that many of them, and there's a lot of art on it that looks pretty cool. Oh, a Minotaur? Oh, we're getting crazy. Up in here. All right. Yeah, because I don't know what to show, what not to show, because, you know, really, no, it just looks like equipment. It looks like I could show equipment, but maybe not. Maybe there's, like, some magic relic in there you're not supposed to know about. Maybe I just showed you creatures you're not supposed to know about. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to open up the rule book, and it's going to say, look at nothing. Okay, and now we have our... Oh, let's get some, let's get the box art on there. Oh, it's just a story. I thought it was more map. It's more story. So much story. Will I get to this? I hope so. And then we got, again, more embossed leather, except this is blue leather. Not as convincing as the brown. All right, so let's just toss that in there. And that is it for our Sleeping Gods unboxing. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And uh, I, I'm looking forward to playing this. I'm looking forward to experiencing the story. And the fact that I didn't flip through all the cards just kind of got me a little curious, which is good for a good adventure and a successful adventure. Okay, that is it. Thank you very much for joining us on this episode. I will see you next week. See ya. Thanks for joining us. If you like this video and you want to see more, subscribe to our channel. It's the best way to keep up to date with everything we do here at Board Game Coffee. But if you want to see more right now, we got plenty of videos to choose from. And if that's not enough, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Mark Maya, and this is Board Game Coffee. And remember, have fun, keep gaming, be social. See you next week.